as I'm uh, making progress on my journey, I'm constantly evaluating the snow and ice. And up until now, using my boots and maybe doing a bit of step cutting with my axe has been good enough. But I look above me now and I see a sheet of ice and more importantly there's some steep ground up above and I think, do you know what, I think maybe time now to put crampons on and it's always good to put them on early and there's a nice little patch here that I can actually do that so I'm going to get myself prepared to put my crampons on so I've picked a spot here where there's a bit of heather sticking out of the ground and there's a flat sort of area of snow just above it uh, which I can easily sort of stamp down or cut into and that gives me a bit of a slope above because I'm going to put my crampons on standing up. I don't want to be sitting down in waterproofs and sliding around. So I'm going to just beat this down a bit, get myself comfortable and then I'm going to start putting the crampons on. Just cut a little slot there for my rucksack because I don't want that to disappear off either. And I'll get myself sorted out now. So my crampons have already been fitted down in the valley because I don't want to be faffing around with little slots here. They're in a bag that's easy to identify. And what I'm going to do is get them out of that bag, put them on the slope uphill of me and arrange them so that it's going to be easy to step into them. Trying to identify left and right and of course my buckles want to be on the outside so I'm putting them down in front of me here and getting them sorted. Don't want this to blow away so it's going back in the bag and we'll do that up just in case the weather does strange things to us. Okay, so my crampons are now arranged in front of me and I'm just going to step into them and then do them up. As I'm doing that, I'm just checking that I'm getting my boot in. So into the forward bale there and into the lugs at the back and then the clip goes on neatly. I can bring the strap up through here and then through the double buckle there, back on itself. Now one of the things I've done down in the valley is to prepare these straps so they're not too long. They're long enough so I can pull them tight and get a good fit and that can then just tuck in out of the way into that slot and hopefully it's not going to come uh, loose from there. And once that one's on, I'm just going to do a visual check, see that the lugs are in, and then I can bring that one down and fit the next one. Checking the lugs are in again, front bale's okay. And once again, in with the straps. And it's great to go practice this in the comfort of your own home because it's not something you want to be mucking about with if the weather's deteriorating. And it's good to do that with gloves on because obviously up here you're going to need to be putting them on with gloves. So I've got them on now, done my visual checks, but it's good to have a good stamp around just to see that they're actually fitting and they're not going to come loose. So in doing that, I've just seen that the uh, right hand boot here, the strap's just a little twisted and that'll mean it'll be loose. So I'm just going to bring that in and re-tighten it so it's absolutely secure. That's much better. So the check is a vital part of all this. And that's the crampons fitted now.